Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the Folklin Digital Endoscope. So this is the coolest thing. So this is basically, if you're not familiar with an uh, endoscope, it is a camera that lets you see in places where it would be hard to see uh, with your naked eye. So it could be uh, small spaces. Uh, all you need, I'll show you right here, is a quarter inch hole. So you can stick it into walls, you can stick it in pipes, it's waterproof. You know, this is what you know the plumbers use if you got a pipe that's stuck, uh, etc. So here, here's a couple of applications it shows you. you know, it could be used for anything. Once you have one of these, you're going to figure out uses uh, you know, all the time where it just makes life so much easier. You know, when I was uh, fishing wire to put in my recess lighting, if I would have had one of these, my life would have been a million times easier. Unfortunately, I only recently bought it, so... It is what it is. So this is the digital screen which connects to the camera. So this screws in to over here and then the camera is over here and that's got a ring of LED lights on the edge. Over here is a case. It comes with a couple different hooks. I'm not sure if you can see it so well here but you can see a picture on the box. So over here is a magnet, hook, mirror, waterproofing. Uh, so those are the different types of you know, hooks you use. So the waterproofing is basically uh, to seal that camera so nothing gets in. Uh, the other one's a mirror, you know, so it's got a tiny mirror right in the corner over here. Uh, so it helps you see at angles. And then it's got, you know, a hook and a magnet, you know, depending on what kind of use you're using it for. It comes with a free memory card included. So that's right over here. Oops, sorry. So it's got a 16 gigabyte micro SD card with uh, an adapter so you can put in your computer if you need to read it afterwards. Here's an instruction manual which you might need. Super simple. There's a USB cable for charging it. It's got a cloth for keeping the screen clean. So I'm going to power it on right now so you can see how it is. And I'm going to connect the cable. So let me pause it for a second while I connect that cable. Okay, you can see right here I just pushed it in, lined up the line, then spun this. So it's connected, and you hold the power button for two seconds to turn it on. And you can see it instantly shows you what's on the other side of this camera. So here's the tiny camera. I'm going to go into my mouth for a second, even though it says it's not for oral use. Yeah, you don't want to look too deep in there. Uh, let's go look underneath my couch, see if there's anything interesting there. So we're going to move the screen over here onto the floor they're gonna take the cable and just fish underneath there so you see it looks like one of the springs from the bed fell down over there and you can look around etc right here you can see there's got a light Oops, right here, it's a light. So if you turn that off, it turns off the LED on the end of the camera, so it makes it harder to see. Turn it on, you can see better. And then over here, these are pretty intuitive. You know, the setting back, up, down, okay. And this is to, right here is to take pictures. And it says, please insert memory card because I didn't install that yet. So let's go uh, move this somewhere else just so we can see different views. I'm going to bring it into my bathroom right here. Let's go like this. So right here the bathroom light is off. Just to show you. I'm going to close the bathroom door. And then we're going to stick the camera underneath for pretending you know we're going into a wall or something. And we look at the screen, and you can see you can fish the camera around to try to see things. Yeah, 
Uh, so you can see it's not so good for like a large room, but you could see, you know, some stuff. I'm gonna bend it a little. See how it's got a bend, so that helps you. Put it in and angle it to where you want it to go. Hard to do this with one, with one hand. You know, because one hand's holding the camera. But yeah, it's, it's too hard to do it like that. Let's just come out over here. Let me just show you the room, like a lit up room. See how it's pretty clear. Room's upside down. Let's turn it around. See my playroom slash storage room. There's a pantry. So that, that's basically the endoscope. Uh, you can use it for many uses once you uh, figure out what you need it for. You know, fishing wires through walls, fixing plumbing issues. You know, it's not meant to be a you know super high quality camera. It is a HD camera, but it's not. You know, there's not a type of thing used to go take family photo shoots with. There's a type of thing that when you're stuck and you have one of these, your problems get solved. Thanks for watching my review on the Falcon. LCD digital endoscope.